Good evening my friends, how are you? I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Before I go to the topic of this video, I want to mention something that I'm really so proud uh, to have more than 22,000 subscribers on my channel and I believe it is on its way to become one of the most uh, successful uh, forex teaching uh, channels on YouTube. Uh, I'm really proud of having this uh, great success and we only started like one year ago only and that is uh, impressive having about uh, <clears throat> I don't know I see the number below somewhere um, maybe about 70 videos something like that but I'm really happy with this result I need to mention something my friends please keep in mind that this is a free educational platform nobody asking you to pay any fees for for watching these videos they are free for the public you can watch it and learn forex for free if you want to support the channel and if you want to support me you can just open any video and you can check the description you can open account in ic markets using this link i honestly recommend ic markets as they are providing the best scalping experience ever you can ever have in, in trading forex and if you open the account using this link, you are actually supporting the channel to give more and to continue this free educational uh, platform. So again, appreciate your support everyone and thank you for this ultimate support. So let's move to the main subject of this video, understanding more support and resistance. Actually, this was supposed to be a live trading video and I wanted to actually show you the 20 pips a day strategy and how we can get uh, 20 pips a day uh, from using that strategy but I think there was no point talking about live trades and doing live trades front of you without being able to understand clearly what am I doing when I say uh, resistance or support number one and then I'm telling you to enter uh, sell on resistance number two or buy on support number two uh, I have noticed that there is so many viewers they are still not able to understand how to count the support number one or two I have I saw a question on the comments one time one guy he said if you are actually telling me to enter on a support number one then how many years do you want me to check back to know if this was the first attempt meaning he's asking me if this was a support number one uh, how many years or how many months I should go to the check to, uh, on the left to know if this was the first support or resistance on the level at that point I just felt like it's time to explain more about support and resistance because I don't want others to keep watching these videos without actually being able to understand what am I doing that's why uh, I postponed the, the live trading video till the next week and this week I want to talk about support and resistance so let me tell you something when I say that support and resistance resistance are permanent let me go to the monthly chart this is the monthly chart so what I wanted to say when I said that these levels are permanent the idea was showing how effective support and resistance what you are seeing this uh, sorry when you are seeing this actually working on the monthly chart so you can see this support level has actually kept the position as a support level uh, when we are talking about the year to, uh, 2002 then December 2008 this support has actually kept the position as a support when I say that the point was to show you that these levels are very eff effective and it's working actually on any time frame starting from monthly chart until one minute chart so going back to the four hour chart let's now talk more about support and resistance and how we can understand them let's let's track what's going on in this chart front of me or actually let's check something else because okay this is better you need to understand something there is a golden rule in forex let me write it for you every single support or resistance will be finished by a breakout candle remember that keep it in your mind if you want write it somewhere write it on your notebook or somewhere else 
every single support or resistance will be finished by a breakout what does that mean that mean if any support you can see like that even if it has two attempts or even more attempts this this rally of the support it will eventually be finished by either a bearish breakout candle which will break the support level or or will be finished by a bullish breakout candle which will actually break from this resistance so in other words this rally if we have like a ranging market uh, consist, uh, uh, consistent of a support and resistance and you can see that now, right now we have like a channel this uh, channel will be breaking out eventually no matter how many days passes or even months it will be eventually breaking out by either a, bu a bearish breakout candle or a bullish breakout candle now the point is this this is being applied on every single support and resistance you are seeing it's impossible no way that is impossible to see any support or resistance not being breaking out when you see a resistance even if it has only one single attempt and let's call it resistance number one this attempt will be breaking out eventually all right so this resistance has not get any bounce back on this level the, the market did not bounce on the resistance number two it has been breaking out now the thing is you need to understand now after this breakout candle the market might actually come back again and once it come back after the breakout which has happened here now we are back to attempt number one so the breakout is actually ending the counting of attempts of support and resistance so when you see any breakout that means the counting for support or resistance is cancelled and now we are going to reset the count so again let me show you now this on the chart so for example let me show you something actually more clear uh, so I can show it to you I want to see a support has been a support again after the breakout this is a good example here let's keep our eyes right here so uh, let me draw something like that okay so, um, uh, let me fi find something better and easier for you to understand I just want something yes like that that is fantastic okay so we have here a support level we have a support level okay so let's assume this was support number one if we look at the left maybe there is another support attempts on this level yeah we have this support number one support number one and this is support number two and this is support number three okay now what do we see here is this level of the support has been eventually breaking out now when we say that this level has been breaking out meaning the counting is stopped now there is a wall here and we cannot continue counting the attempts now the count of the support has been reset when when we see now as another bullish breakout candle so now this level this level of the support has been breaking out by this bearish breakout candle and now we can see this level has become a resistance right here now this resistance the same very resistance now has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle all right so with this bull bullish momentum or this bu bullish uh, movement now this support level will actually keep the position as a support now after this breakout candle this is support number one the re the the counting has been reset after seeing the the breakout candle now let's track this support level let's go more to the right and we can see this support level has been immediately breaking out now what happened later is we had another b uh, bullish breakout candle but then the market broke this level not only one time two times 
and eventually it became a resistance now let's go more and show you something okay uh, let me just erase this one I think this level is yeah the candles never came back to the same level again but anyway let's uh, do something else as we are doing uh, this educational uh, material so again we have here th this resistance and has been breaking out now keep in mind that this was a resistance number one and this resistance after the breakout as I said now the counting has been reset there is no more support or resistance to be counted after the breakout now this resistance after the bearish breakout here we can see here a bearish breakout from this resistance level now the market or the candles actually are going to keep the position as a resistance right here and right here now the thing is after this breakout after this bearish breakout here now this resistance which was resistance number one now it's again resistance number one and this was resistance number two so are you getting the point now the breakout is always uh, breaking the counting of the support and resistance and therefore we have to be careful pay attention to the breakouts because they are the one telling us that this, we have to stop counting the support or resistance attempts now as I said also in the past every single support and resistance will be breaking out now for example we have here this reversal this reversal is considered as a support and this support has been breaking out by this bearish breakout candle let's continue we had then another support level here this was a support number two because on the same level we have here support number one and this support has been breaking out by this bearish breakout candle let's continue this support has been also breaking out by this bearish breakout candle then this support has become a resistance and this was of course resistance number one this support has become the resistance number one that is why we call it now resistance number one we call it resistance number one because it has been um, uh, how can I say that it came after a bearish breakout candle okay so let's continue as I said now this is resistance number one and we had here a resistance number two now this resistance because as I said every single resistance or support will be breaking out we can see that this resistance has been actually breaking out with this bullish breakout candle and if you keep tracking support and resistance the whole time this is what's happening the whole time no matter how you argue about it no matter how you see it every single support or resistance every every small reversal any reversal you see actually it happened uh, or actually it has been followed by a breakout candle of course the logic says every resistance will be followed by a bullish breakout candle and every support will be followed by a bearish breakout candle now absolutely you cannot assume that every that doesn't mean that every support will be breaking out no there are some levels for example uh, let me now sh go to the monthly chart and show you this for example we have a lot of lines here this resistance on the top it has not yet been breaking out eventually it might be breaking out but not yet so what 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 is the point here the point is that if you want to ca start counting the attempts you need to look for the breakout as long as there is no breakout you cannot count the candles or you cannot count the attempts let me show you something one very common mistakes people are falling to I think I saw it right here uh, let me pause the video until I find the right pattern I'm looking for this is what I was looking for uh, one common mistake some uh, traders actually falling to is they are confusing between the long candle 
just normal long candle and the breakout candle uh, I have noticed uh, some traders actually doing this mistake for example when they are seeing this candle for example this one here when they see this candle this long bearish candle they will assume that now the market will go up and now this resistance should actually keep the position as a resistance therefore they will place sell right here and that is big mistake now here there was no support or resistance to be breaking out what we are having here is just the market going up making a fake breakout and then reverse going down uh, to this support level again and we can see the market has actually indeed go down to this level this is not a breakout candle there was no support or resistance to be breaking out this is the resistance right here and the market just went up here and reversed immediately there was no support to be breaking out for example we have here a support has been breaking out here therefore this this was indeed a bearish breakout candle this long red candle as long as it was a bearish breakout we can see that this is this resistance has kept the position as a resistance so since you see here this resistance again it kept the position and this resistance still a resistance as well because this is a bearish breakout candle however this is not the case in this candle here this long red candle so <coughs> you need to pay attention and know the difference between just normal red candle or uh, long uh, uh, blue or red candle and the actual breakout candle from a level that of course uh, very simple you just need to see any support or resistance has been breaking out uh, followed by this long breakout candle for example this here this candle this blue candle let me just draw the line correctly this blue candle here is actually a breakout candle because this resistance has been broken out by this long uh, blue candle but this candle however this is just long candle there was no support or resistance on its range has been broken out right there is no resistance has been broken out here it's empty so this candle has just and only reached this level of this resistance right here so this was let's assume this is what this was resistance number one and this candle is only going up to create the resistance number two don't uh, miss uh, or don't get confused between long red or blue candle and the breakout candle there is a big big difference between them now the last thing i want to talk about when we are counting the attempts of support and resistance and this is one of the biggest reasons a lot of traders are actually having losses uh, with the, when they are using hit and run uh, let me now pause the video and try to find the right pattern i'm talking about i found here a great example let me now tell you something i will ask you a question and when i ask it please pause the video think for a minute then answer it now we can see now we have here a resistance level and this resistance level after this bullish breakout candle uh, the same level of this resistance has become the new support now the support has been broken out eventually by this long bearish breakout candle all right now which one of this resistance attempts is the resistance number one or two Le which one of them is number two or actually you know you know what uh let me ask you a question uh wait a minute let me make let me make the question easier which one of these two is the resistance number two is it this one or this one one of them is resistance number two after this uh, breakout candle please take a moment pause the video for a few seconds and then answer now I'm sure nobody nobody paused the video <laughs> let me let me tell you the answer the answer is this is resistance number two now you might be surprised but you keep in mind don't let your eyes trick you look carefully after this breakout candle what do you see here there is a wick here this wick here is considered as attempt number one 
so this small wick here is resistance number one and then the same level has become the resistance number two later if you want to measure it check it out guys this is the right way to draw the support or uh, uh, the resistance line as I'm saying always draw your line in a way touching the shortest wick on this resistance and this is the way this line touching now the shortest week on this resistance so what happened if we want to track it uh, a bearish breakout candle appeared here went all the way down then reversed went up hitting the same the very same resistance which was here and this resistance kept the position as another resistance and created resistance number one then the market went down again bouncing on this support and going all the way up now to create the attempt number two of this resistance level and therefore the market went down again and and so on so you need to keep your eyes open for any weeks after the breakout as I said now to you in this video this week here can actually um, if you are if you are like me if you are like to trade uh, to trade or to track the first attempt after the breakout then this week here has already go ahead of front uh, um, ahead of you and it already went up so if you are assuming that this was resistance number one then you are wrong so this was really very important uh, tips to talk about for support and resistance I really want you guys to keep if you don't want to trade you don't have to actually do trading just open the chart and test yourself test your ability see yourself if you are actually able to read these charts these charts like an open book so you can actually track the support and resistance attempts so when you are actually trading live you can you are able now to do it live in uh, and live in action please guys uh, keep this very important uh, i really wish this has answered a lot of your questions and hopefully now when I'm doing the next live trading video, it will be more clear what am I doing so you can actually understand more uh, about count counting the attempts. So um, until then, guys, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.